um, when I finished high school in 2017, I knew I wanted to be in the industry, but I didn't know what I wanted to do, right? Um, with the name Blue Ava, okay, blue comes from, I like doing blue braids. You see how, mm -hmm. how it looks? I liked using the color. <laughs> it's oh. blue, it's diamonds. <laughs> Oh, so, that's where the concept is from. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. I like it. So when they called me, they're like, blue, blue. Even when niggas wanted to, you know, try their, <laughs> they're like, do you know blue? Please call blue for me. So it was a thing. <laughs> so I just ran with the name. You know, I liked it. I was like, okay, that's fine. And then um, Ava. Ava comes from my name, Dave. So mm. I just B, and then we use the A-I-V-A. Blue Ava instead of Ava. Yeah. Okay, so it's, pro it's pronounced Ava, not Iva, actually. No, it's Ava. Ava. So guys, it's if like... you're watching, learn to pronounce her name well. It's Ava, not Iva. <laughs> All right, uh, guys, you can, you can always use the question tag to ask your questions. I'm going to see them and I'm going to keep pinning the ones oh. and pin. Right. So somebody asked the question What's next? What's next for you, Ava? Uh, Ava. I'm just trying to adjust to your name anyway. Big things. Mm -hmm. Blue is always operating. Blue Ava is always operating. For now, I can't reveal much, but you guys must stay tuned. You guys must stay glued to your phones because what's coming, it's it's a lot. So I'll give you just you know few things um that you guys should look out for. Um, obviously I'm still gonna continue with my DJing career. But I'm gonna go wild. Like I, I I'm bringing another concept into DJing. I'm I'm looking for dancers, you know. Um, because I feel like I'm. I, there are few DJs who can do what I can do, right? As a female DJ, um, imagine playing your own songs. Imagine dancing on the day. Hmm. Make on the day. That's exceptional. Actually, I can I can already picture that. That's going to be exceptional. That is going. It's going to be crazy. With the concept that I have, it's, it's magical. It's crazy. Um, obviously my music, I need to be in studio. I need to go hard in studio. I, I'm not giving it a chance. You know, um, I'm going hard um, into the studio. Also, I, I want to do a, like a mini documentary. Um, obviously me um, visiting different countries and um, different dance studios, um, teaching them how to dance and obviously them teaching me their culture and how they dance. So you so much in love with Nigeria. Maybe you should just find a Nigerian husband, <laughs> but not now. We are really building your brand. <laughs> right? Oh, oh, yeah. Get your Nigerian husband. I think okay. so. If you come to Nigeria eventually, and then like, mm -hmm. you have lots of opportunities here, like brands want to work for you here. You have lots of, you know, things going on for you here. Are you going to consider relocating to Nigeria, like living in Lagos? Like, that's, oh. yeah. I, I, I love that question. I love that question. Um, first of all, I love Nigeria. Hmm. I I Trust. love Nigeria. I love the culture. I love the music. I love everything. Um, definitely, definitely, I can consider that. You know, um, as long as it's it's brand related. Obviously, I'm working. Um, they, um, they, I'm open for that. I'm I'm open for that. Okay, now, um, okay, this one say we will love you. The diamonds love you so much. Yeah. The, the, another question I want to ask you is this, like. Um, <laughs> Yeah, like, um, I don't want to ask you any question that pertains to um, what it calls sheep, you know, like relationship with house snakes. I don't want to go there. But for now, like, how would you describe your experience in, in the Big Brother house? How would you describe your experience there? How would you, you know, in like three words, how would you describe your experience in the Big Brother house? You know, tell us. Considering okay. the people that you met there and every other thing that happened inside the house. Yeah. My experience in Big Brother House has been amazing. You know, I went in that house with an imagination of things. Like, I knew what I wanted to be in that house. I knew how I wanted to dress. I Like, I planned everything in my mind before even going in. Um, even before I auditioned, like, I always said, nah, this is mine. Like, I could feel it. I was like, nah, this is mine. I'm going all in. Uh, and me going in um, and creating all of these things that I've been imagining, it was mind blowing for me, you know, and learning um, more. Um, I always say I wanted to go in the house to learn. Um, obviously, I know myself, but I wanted to know more about who Blue Ava is, who that is, because the Bats and Blue Ava are two different people, right? So, partnering with individuals who have resources to work with you, you know, 
on you know in a way that it benefits both sides and it grows your brand as well but do you have any plan so far with your blue diamond because i have to tell you this maybe you don't know you are a pressure you're a fucking pressure like your traffic is crazy i'm not i'm not kidding you not anybody that's looking for an influencer right now that's looking for that is looking for a hot influencer because the last time the last Last time you were live on your page, you talked about having some international, you know, musicians on on piano. I you know I know you shocked to hear that I was listening like word to word. You talked about even having Nikki on piano, right? Tell us more about this before I ask you my question. That, that's because it seems my... you love piano music a lot. I mean, I'm a I piano, do. Right. Because with me, um, I mix because I can't really sing sing. But um, I know how to vibe. I know how to to bring the ginger into a song, right? Um, yeah. So I think the, there's a genre called Guaido in South Africa. Um, it was like created way back, right? Um, so now my, I'm a piano K. So I'm trying to infuse the two together, you know, um, to obviously make great things, you know. Um, so my sound is a, a Guaido mixed with I'm a piano. Um, and they like relating why with do you, you, um, why do you. Why do you personally like that genre of music? That's that's quite that niche. Quite I'm a piano guy. Yeah. yeah, because um, with quite though, I grew up listening to music at home. They they are pianists, they are DJs. They are, like I grew up in a family way by they love music. So I grew up listening to music all my life, and quite though was the main thing. Right. Um, so now when I'm a piano came and I feel like even my voice fits um the criteria, it fits the quite the vibes, right? Um so when I'm a piano K, I was like, nah, this is my time. This is where I belong. <laughs> right. So uh, me infusing that together, uh, when I started um being in studio obviously and started recording, I was like, What? Blue? Is this you? <laughs> like, can you what? I was blown away, honestly, because um, I never, I never saw myself or thought of um, me being in studio and creating music. It was just an amazing feeling, um, um, writing lyrics down, and you know, uh, me recording. Like, wow, this is mind blowing. This is really great. So yeah, it's, it's just been a journey of me learning how to obviously exploring uh, my and what I can do and what I can do and obviously learning um, on things that I can do. So it's just been amazing. It's just been wonderful. It's been wonderful. And trust me, you are doing wonderfully well in it. You see, I'm a piano. I'm a piano is not leaving the, the, the music scene anytime soon. Sometimes yeah. when I go to club with my, with my, with my, with my gang, like with my guys, have you heard about Portable before? Portable? Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> do you know Portable? Yeah. All the way from South Africa. Zazu. <laughs> I do. <laughs> Zazu, they talk in mind as a and that's why we love him. Shout out to him, you know. Shout out. Like, I want to, I want to tell you, like, who is the person you're going to make a passionate appeal? Passionate appeal. This is media. This could go viral. You never can tell. They will see it. Who is that person you will make a passionate appeal as a young, talented lady who is doing marvelously well with a piano sound that you would love to jump, give you a verse. Lend you that ladder. Okay. Um, obviously, I love the three of them, but I feel like Davido can, yeah. Davido. Yeah. So you want Davido to, to, to give you a verse? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Go and pray. Go and pray. He's somebody that believes that. He's somebody that believes that will rise by lifting others. Yeah. Okay. He can wake up one morning and decide to shock the world. Decide to shock Nigeria decide to do anything he does is a spirit i also believe i also pray that he gets to see this video and somehow in some way is touched to you know you to your passionate appeal of you know granting you the privilege is a privilege because like i said you cannot afford them you cannot yeah except if your fan you say your fan base wants to open go from go from go from their account <laughs> Diamonds asks, when are you coming to Nigeria? When are you coming to Nigeria? Soon enough, um, I'll be in Nigeria. It's about to be a movie. It's about to be a, 
it's, it's going to be hectic. So you guys must just stay on your phones, um, follow up on what I'm doing, what I'm working on. Um, let's let's operate, guys. Let's soon, operate. soon, soon. Let's operate. But if you have any other thing to just say in summary to your fan, to everybody watching, to Nigerians, to Africa, to Big Brother especially, because I believe their production definitely some of their some of them will be watching. Some of them follow me. They are very discreet people. They are very private people. So some of them follow me. I know some of them. But I don't know them. <laughs> don't come to me to come and tell you if you want to go to Big Brother. I don't know anybody. Who, uh -huh. So summarize so that everybody can hear you. Okay? And then yeah. that will be it. So as you all know, um, I'm Devato. I always say Devato is the name to Ava's the gate. Um, thank you to Big Brother. Um, obviously, the, the production and everybody. Um, they've given me a platform. Um, I went into the house. I always say I got into the industry, in the movie industry or entertainment industry, um, before I even blew up. I got to know um, people before I even blew up. Hence, I was inside the box. Like I felt like I'm boxed and I felt like I'm not taken serious. I felt like people don't appreciate my work because I have this drive, I have this hustle. I've hustled myself. Sorry about that, um, Petri. <laughs> Anyway, um, I love hustling. I have goals. I always go for what I want. Nothing can stop me. If I put my mind on something, nothing can stop me. So um, I went inside the Big Brother house. Um, I did what I wanted to do. I built myself. I built my brand. And now I'm outside. I'm, I'm ready to take over. I have this army. I have this group of people that love me and support me. Um, thank you guys so, so much. Thank you to the Big Brother team. Thank you to Big Brother. Um, he gave me a platform whereby I can express myself. I can, can showcase all my talents. That's what I've been wanting to do all my life since I, I've been in the industry. I've been in the industry since 2018. I'm, I'm 22. I'm turning 23. I'm 15 May. I'm still young, but I'm doing all of these great things. I have all of these passions. I've got all of these goals that I, I, I want to put out there. Uh, yes, that I um, to, uh, obviously put out there to the people. Um, so let's, let's just uh, keep up what's in Let's just things, you know, operate as we always do. Thank guys, thank you. Um, Hey man, um, for now, that's that's all I'm gonna say. Okay, play my music. Oh. Guys, um, please follow the page. Um, go on YouTube, subscribe, um, like, comment. You know what to do, guys. You know how this goes. Um, please follow the pages everywhere. You know what to do. Thank you.